Because the very first thing that happened to you was that a pack of 15 wild dogs. There was about, yeah, there was about 10, yeah, there was about... Well, were you on a moped or something? Yeah, I was on a scooter. Oh, yeah. And, um... Had you told anyone where you were going, or did anyone know? No. Where you were? <laughs> right. so there you are on your scooter. And My you're... friend Samantha said that to me when she came to see me in hospital. She said, "You should always tell someone where you're going." Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I was like, so right, these... "Leave me alone." So these dogs came at you, and what did yeah, you do? Yeah, I was, I was, um, I was up in the mountains about half six in the morning. I'd been to the gym already at five, because the gym's open about four or five o'clock in the morning. Because mm. after nine o'clock you can't train; it's too too hot. Mm. So I've been to the gym already, and I thought I lived halfway up the mountain anyway. Yeah. I thought I'd go to the top and I'll take some pictures of the sunrise. So I took some really nice pictures, and I'm having a really kind of I've been to the gym, and I'm on a real kind of nice oh, natural yeah. high. Yeah. And then I come around the corner, and there's about 15 dogs. Oh. Oh. And uh, you always see wild dogs yeah. on the, on the mountain road, but normally there's about three or four together in a pack. Yeah. Mm. And I, th I think what had happened was one pack had made a kill, a, a monitor lizard. The, the monitors out there, the water, water monitors, they're called, they get quite big. I think one of them had made a kill it and the blood had attracted the rest of the packs. Oh. And then they, they were fighting with each other and then they saw me. Oh, I thought you were coming for the kill. Well, no, no, yeah. they saw me and thought, oh, they're going to oh, kill well, you. Yeah, <gasps> oh, no. And I, didn't, I, I couldn't turn around. I couldn't turn the, the bike. It was a really bad road. Yeah, it was. It, uh, as the nearer I got to the waterfall, the more off road it became. And I, 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 didn't, I, I couldn't turn around, so I had to go through them. And as I went through them, like, one of them's kind of chomped onto my foot. Oh, God. And he drew blood and then he. He ran off with my flip flop, <laughs> <laughs> and he took about three of them with him because they, obviously they thought he had a piece of meat, but he he didn't luckily. So I thank him for that. And then I pulled into the waterfall, and I thought there's only one way to go, and that's down. And I thought if I can get into the water, I know that these dogs can't swim. They're not like dogs yeah, that yeah. throw balls yeah. into the sea and then go swimming. They're just they're feral wild animals. Mm. And I was, but I didn't realise how much I was bleeding. And uh, but then as soon as I touched the rock of the waterfall, I just Slipped. went up and I just went over and I just went over and, yeah, and I remember a drop as well, wasn't it? it was about a 20 foot drop yeah. and Ooh. my <laughs> sorry I'm laughing I'm just laughing I'm nervous <laughs> no, wait, you know, maybe um, you are, it's only, it was only four months ago this so I suspect yeah. you're yeah. in shock yeah well yeah so tell us your injury when you when you well, so what happened water. was I I um I hit a ledge on the way down and I remember because I remember kind of seeing this thing and moving my head and then seeing my knee hit it. And it was like, if you ever watch boxing, if you see a boxer take a hit and his gum shield yeah. flies out of his mouth, yeah. it just looked like that. It just looked like something just flew out of my knee. And was then, and yeah, it was part oh, of my oh. kneecap. <laughs> and then, um, sorry. Did you hit water or did you hit? Yeah, I hit water and I remember thinking, thank God the water is deep enough because mm. I didn't know. And then my leg hit, and I was like, oh, my God, that was painful. And then when I came up and I saw that my, where my kneecap should be, there was just a hole. Oh. And I was just holding it and screaming, and I was just, I was screaming and screaming. And then I let go, and a bit of blood kind of squirted into the water. <laughs> and this is the worst bit. That's when these things came out of the water, and they were swimming like this. And I thought, those are leeches. Those are very big leeches. And they, 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 as soon as the blood hit the water, these crabs came out, and I managed to get rid of them quite quickly. But the leeches, just, they just seemed to start coming out of holes in the wall. They were coming out oh of the mud. God. They were just coming out of everywhere. And I, and I know I wasn't hallucinating. That, that with this, was, this was real. Mm. Yeah. So I spent all day kind of trying to keep my leg from getting any more blood in the water. I mean, anything that came near me, I was just batting mm. away and, and then screaming for help. And I was thinking, because at the, the entrance to the waterfall, there was a stand and, and it had loads of empty Coke cans and it said Coca-Cola, like, 10 yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah. And so I thought, this is, it must be a, a tourist attraction like the rest of, of the waterfalls you, are. find out. I'm only wasn't. because we've got to run out of time and I want the story. No, but you... But after that, basically, I, I knew that I couldn't stay in that first pool that I landed because I, I couldn't... If, I, if it got dark, I couldn't see these things coming towards me. Oh, my God. And I thought, if one of them gets on... I, yeah, yeah. I, did, I just didn't know. I didn't. I just. Mm. So then, there was another drop. There was about a 15 foot drop into the next one. I didn't know if it was deep enough or not, but I knew I couldn't st stay there when it got dark. So I literally had to just kind of lean myself over the edge. And you did that for three, three days. days. You were didn't stuck you? there. I did. I don't. <laughs> well done for keeping breathing. For keeping alive. <laughs> no, but it actually 
is. I mean, it must have been an incredible feeling when you heard the um, voices in the distance and you thought, OK... After the I'm... second fall and I hit the water, again, I just thought, thank God it's deep enough. And then my leg hit and, and then I can't remember anything after that. I remember yeah. bits and bobs. And I, I, I knew that I was hallucinating at one point because I was seeing people down there and they were opening the front doors and going, shut up, they... be quiet. Well, how did they find you wow. in the end? Because you were at the wrong waterfall, you weren't at the one that the tourists... Someone had seen my bike and a bit of blood. Yeah, thank God. And they'd rung the number on the, the bike. And I'd never missed paying uh, the lady that I, yeah. I rented the bike from. I'd never missed the payment. Yeah. And I was due to meet her on Monday and I didn't show up. Oh. And then on the Tuesday, she got a phone call saying, your bike's up here and it's abandoned and there's mm. a bit of blood next to it. And she rang the police wow. straight away. Well, Paul, and then they found me on a Thursday. I'm so sorry. Trish. Sorry, I'm, I'm just waffling on. We're just on, glad you're here. You made it. Incredible story. Incredible. And I hope they turn it into a film. Yeah, they do. <laughs>